Uh, hello, good day. I am George Mendoza, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Solidus Starter front end Rails application template on a new Solidus app. Uh, for those who are not familiar, Solidus is an e commerce platform that is free and open source and is built on top of Ruby on Rails. Uh, the aim of the of Solidus is to allow you to create high volume custom stores uh, that are both ready to use and at the same time uh, flexible to configure. Solidus starter front end is the new starter storefront for Solidus. It it aims to replace the Solidus front end gem, which is currently part of the Solidus bundle. The Solidus starter front end is distributed as a Rails application template, which means that the code it provides will be copied to your own, to your own Rails application. This would allow you to change any part of the front end code like you would normally do when updating your Rails application. Okay, so now that you're familiar with Solidus and Solidus Starter Frontend, let's see how to install Solidus Starter Frontend on your Solidus application. For that, we'll follow the instructions from the README. Okay. First, we need to create a new real store. Okay, so we now have a store. Next, we're going to add Solidus to the to our store. Now, normally, all we need to do is just add Solidus like this to your Rails application. Um, alternatively, we could break down the Solidus gem and install its individual components like this. So let's cancel this one like this. Uh, Solidus is made up of five components. Solidus core, back end, API, sample, and front end. Now we're going to install the front end using the Solidus starter front end Rails application template, which means that we need to remove this Solidus front end gem from the installation. Otherwise, it would conflict with the starter front end. So as you can see, this, this is the command that you can find in the readme here. Okay, let's add the gems. Done. Now we're going to, now that we have the gems, we can install Solidus, like in the readme. Okay, this might take a while, so I'm going to pause for the, the video for now. Okay, so Solidus install has finished running. Now let's see what the Solidus app looks like at this point. Okay, as you can see, you'll only find the default Rails homepage. And that's because we didn't add the Solidus front-end gem earlier. Okay. Now we can continue with the installation of the Solidus starter front-end template. Uh, but before we do that, let's commit the changes that we've added earlier so that we have something to compare with later. Okay, now to install the Solidus Starter front end template, all we need to do is to copy the command from 
the following command from the readme. So as you can see, we are running Rails app template and we're specifying the template Rub uh, Ruby file from the uh, Solido starter front end repo. Okay. It should not take long. Okay, and it's done. Uh, now let's see what the front end looks like. Let's refresh our page. Okay, so this is the new Solidus starter front end uh, uh, view. Here you can see the, our home page. You can choose products. Add them to a cart and check out. You also have some basic um, user registration and authentication uh, functionality. Uh, now that you've seen the front end, you might also want to look at what files were added by the template to your Rails application. Okay. So these were the files. We're going to use meld to see them individually. Okay. So the template added files to our application directory, our config, lib, and spec directory. Uh, let's look at the app directory first. Under assets, you can find our JavaScript code under front end and style sheets, CSS under style sheets. Uh, most of the style sheets you can find under the components directory. We also have a components directory where you can find our view components. Uh, view components are Ruby objects that are used for building markup. Uh, you can think of them as uh, presenters on steroids. For, for this view components, we are using the view component gem from uh, GitHub. Okay. So we have our controllers. Uh, you can find our you can find our checkout controllers, our product controller, and our user controllers. We also have a mailer for uh, the user controller. So currently we have one email that is sent for regist uh, registration. Then under views, you can find the corresponding views for those uh, controllers we mentioned earlier, like uh, checkout, uh, products, and our user controllers. Okay, so that covers the application directory. Under config, you can find our routes. So these were the front end routes added by the uh, front end template. You can see that they override the, the previous routes that were added by the Solidus core gem here below. Uh, finally, under specs, you can find the you can find the unit and acceptance tests that come along with the application. Okay, um, 
So now that you've seen the files, you might be wondering, okay, what happens if the solid starter front end repo is updated? Do I get those updates automatically on my Rails application? So unfortunately, that's not the case. Since uh, solid starter front end is a Rails application template uh, and not a dependency, any changes to the front end won't get automatically copied to your application. Uh, you would have to manually port them to your Solidus app. Now, uh, most of the time, this is good because changes to the repo upstream would usually conflict what, with whatever custom customizations you've made to your application and could create uh, functional and visual bugs. However, uh, concerning uh, security updates, uh, what we recommend is that you subscribe to the Solidus security mailing list. Uh, this provides information about uh, new vulnerabilities uh, that not only cover the front end, this uh, Solidus starter front end, but also the entire uh, Solidus ecosystem. So, if you have any further questions, you can check the Solidus Slack channel or the Solidus Starter Front and GitHub repo. Thank you very much and have a good day.